Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to a, another beer review with me, Peter, the master of puppets. Today, joined by Henry, the journal of goose. And oh yeah, you were told how to yeah, say it. So yeah. we were at CBC. We just had breakfast. Uh, we thought we'd do a pre-CBC beer review of a beer we were given yesterday uh, by some Brazilian subscribers. I uh, thought we'd do that review, get a little buzz going before we get buzzed and crazy beer. Yeah. And also just, you know, to cure a little bit of the hangover, hangover even though the bacon, egg, and cheese sandwiches did help a lot. Yeah. And awesome. coffee. So awesome. this one, guys, is from a newer brewery in Brazil called Seva Cervejaria Dogma. And it's kind of like a collaborative brewery between some bre other brewer uh, some different breweries in Brazil that merged together to form this brewery. And this is their Rizoma, double IPA on 8.3% and 80 IBU with awesome label art. Look at that. And uh, this is in the New England style. I don't know exact, let's say exact hops. I think one of them I was told was Citra, but it's hard to figure out here because everything is in Portuguese, of course. <laughs> so, uh, but it does look like it's going to be something like the New England type. IPAs for sure, because in the glass, that's a really nice, what, what do you call it, you like, yeah, orange, hazy orange, yeah, really nice, carbonation streaming, also, we got to give a big thanks, to, of course, and shout out to Andre Santiago, who uh, gave us this can, said we should check it out, review it, and give us our, our honest opinion, he says it's the best double IPA Brazil at the moment, so, we'll, we'll be the judges of that, I guess, yeah. <laughs> maybe, wow, that is that, that it's smells a, that, really that's, fucking nice. That's off to a very good start, I would say. That's like citra or mosaic hops in there. Mm. It is so juicy. Yeah. Juice bomb, I, I would guess. <laughs> this smell, wow, that came out on like a left field. <laughs> what the hell? I didn't expect that. Tons of passion fruit and tropical fruit. Oh, oh yeah. What are you smelling? Mm. I need to get a bit of mango. Yeah. Mango? Mm. It's, it's mostly tropical fruit papaya. Mm. Guava, mm. maybe some citrus fruits, but I'm getting tons of trouble with oh. I think it's citron mosaic cups in here or something. My mouth is watering. Yeah, let's try yeah, this shit. Dude. Cheers. Cheers Thanks, Andre, for the beer. Oh, wow. Dude, that is awesome. That is fucking awesome. That is fucking amazing, <laughs> Gumboy Pape. This is definitely, it's, it's New England kind of style, in style, because uh, it's like more Midwest-ish, because mm. it's juicy, juicy beer. Um, yeah, it's awesome. a, a soft bitterness, mm. uh, not really harsh hop flavors. No, it's quite, it's, it's actually quite well balanced and... Yeah, uh, it's got quite a little a, bit of malt, quite, like sweet malt. Yeah, quite and smooth, actually. it's only two actually. weeks old, too. Yeah. But, uh, quite smooth, actually. Passion fruit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mangoes, like mango. as you said, on the aroma. The buy as well. It's really, really, nice. really, really fucking really good, juicy. this one here. Yeah. Really yes. juice bomb. Mm. It's almost... It, it's similar in flavor to some like a double version or something of Todd the X Man because mm -hmm. that is not hundred percent New England. This is not hundred percent New England either. To be honest, I, I like this more than Todd the X Man. Oh yeah, I think I like this more too. This is uh, a fucking good double IPA. I'm like ninety five. Yeah. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> it's got those juice bomb flavors. Uh, I'm I'm between ninety three and ninety four. I think. It's yeah, I'd probably, yeah, maybe more 93 or 94, because mm. mm. it doesn't have that awesome slick mouthfeel. Yeah. But it's still very fucking awesome. 93 is a fucking high grade still. Mm. I mean, this is great. This is like, you know, that A-plus kind of beer, or mm. A, A kind of beer. Yeah. So this actually might be the best... The best Brazilian double IPA. Mm. Uh, can you hold the mic? Yeah. So, guys, that does it for the beer review of the... Cervejaria Dogma Rizoma Double IPA. Thanks a ton to Andre for this one. This is a great way to start the day before CBC. Great, great stuff. I, I'm not sure how you'd get a hold of this one, guys. If you're in Brazil, uh, drink the shit out of it, please. If <laughs> you're uh, looking at it here in Europe or something, uh, I don't know, find a Brazilian contact and maybe do a trade or something. Because this is worth trading for, actually. I think it's really damn good. It's on par with some of the really nice mm -hmm. hoppy... Uh, great American IPAs. So good stuff, guys. Mm -hmm. Definitely check it out. Yeah. Thanks a ton to Andre. And yeah, as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. And uh, yeah, we're going to say cheers. And we're going to see you for lots more beer at CBC. Yes. And in another beer review. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>